And Pretty Patel wants to give him more power. More. You're, you're already attacking people and getting away with it. How can you want more power? Early in the morning. Early in the morning. What's going on people, it's your boy Cam Topical Juice and I'm back with another video today. As you can see from the title, we're going to be talking about the most fierce, most protected, most funded gang in the UK, the police force. I've had beef with this gang for so many years, they've been terrorising my community for years, nothing's really happened about that, but it now appears that they get bored of terrorising my community, or in fact, no, no, not, they're not just bored of terrorising my community, they're, they're going to carry on terrorising my community. But what they're gonna do now is they're adding women onto the list now. This gang here are targeting women now. And they're targeting women at an alarmingly frequent rate. Now, let's get straight into this. Without further ado, like the video for me. Hit the bell to be notified for me. Hit that subscribe button for me. Join the community, I appreciate everyone that has. Road to 25,000, you're done already. And, um, and yeah, so let's get into this. So, as you can see from the title, a gang, gang member, aka police officer, basically attacked a woman last year. 25 year old police officer, Oliver Bamfield, attacked a woman named Emma in July when he was drunk. He basically approached her, was extremely, extremely misogynistic, calling her a slag and this, that and the other, which I wanna get into in a minute. But uh, before he did that, he approached her and he got her in a, a rear chokehold. You know, these police officers love using their trained techniques. They, they use it in America, they, did, they do it to us in America all the time choking out people and then they die and all of a sudden they're like, oh, how did that happen? I, I used an illegal technique on them and they died and oh damn, fuck, here we go, here we, here we go again. Yeah, so this police officer approached Emma and choked her out in the street and he didn't realise it was being filmed on CCTV and whatnot. Before I carry on with the story, let me just show you the footage. Hopefully, I wasn't gonna show the footage because you know how YouTube is with, they don't, like to, they, don't, they don't like to show you anything real, but I'm gonna insert the clip now and if there is adverts on this video, I succeeded and it's monetized. If there's no adverts on this, on this, on this video, then it didn't get monetized. Either way, here's the clip. Up close. It's right now. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Get why are you laughing? You're in my face right now. Why are you laughing? You guys, that's the sword that you pushed in the face. That is the salt right there. On the floor now. On the floor now. On the floor now. You just saw you pushed in the face. That is the salt. Do you realize that's the section 47 assault of the criminal evidence act? Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. You pushed me in the face right now. Oli, 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 Oli. So as you can see, he's been extremely aggressive to this woman, Emma, now. Now, I'll be honest with you, there's a little bit of discrepancy in the story. I've, I've read three or four articles on this and no, no one's been able to confirm. I've even watched a video on it. No one's been able to confirm. But it suggested that she didn't know who this guy was. So this is one of those, you know, those kind of traditional women fears where a man in a dark alley has literally approached them. That's what's happened here. But... She claims that she didn't know the guy, and I, I believe her, that's what the stories say, all the articles say it. But in the video, she says him, she calls him by his name. But not only does she call him by his name, she shortens his name. She says Ollie. His name's Oliver B Banfield. Now all the articles say that they didn't she didn't know him. And I'm I'm not here to argue that, I don't know that. But me watching that video, she goes, Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> she actually does say Ollie. She repeats his name, innit? Ollie. So I'm thinking, when I heard that, I was thinking, huh? That's strange, because I thought that she must have known him and then... Either way, I don't actually know what the case is there. They say she didn't know the assailant. From that video, it looked like she did, but I, I don't know any. So let's just, let's just assume she didn't know him. So as you can see from the footage, gang member Oliver literally approached Emma. And when she was pushing him off, because she's well within her rights to push uh, a man assaulting her off, literally she pushes him away or whatever. He says, oh, that's assault, that's assault, ah, oh, ah, oh, you just assaulted, you just assaulted, officer, you just assaulted, or whatever, whatever he said, you just assaulted me, uh, get on the ground, get on the ground, now! That, I, I know, they must be taught that, they must be taught to say it like that, because that, that there, I've got PTSD from hearing the, the way they speak like that, oh, seriously, like, it's crazy, like, get on the floor, now! Get on the floor, now! Now! They, they, they talk, they, they, the way these police officers talk here, yeah, they talk like they're trying to kill you, with the, way, the, the way they do it. Just get on, get on the floor now! It's, God damn it, relax! It's a, it's a woman, it's a woman at night. Relax, what is she gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Chill out! It says in the articles that when she managed to get away, he was calling her a fucking slag. Again, misogynistic. The problem with misogyny. And now, it's funny, you know, because misogyny is now a hate crime. <laughs> Bring it on. Bring it on, Why? We, we, should, we should have been doing things like this ages ago. Misogyny, the mayor, what's his name? Sadiq Khan has now said misogyny is a hate crime. So calling someone a slag in that, you can't do them thing no more, you know? 
So before I finish this video off, I just want to read a little extract from this article I found this morning. It says here, A court heard the 25-year-old remains in his post with West Midlands police despite admitting a charge of assault by beating. You can beat people. You can abuse your power. You can beat people. Beat, beat a woman. Assault a woman on the street. And you don't, you don't lose your job. You can remain in your post. His lawyer argued he should not have to do community service because it would be difficult for him to work with criminals. Fam, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Is this, is this what lawyers can use to defend police officers and get away with it? Your Honour, ah oh man, my client, my client, PC Banfield. I know my client's job and role in his post was to protect and serve the community. However, you can't, you can't punish him, Your Honour. You can't punish him. He'll be stuck with criminals. He'll be stuck with people like him. He'll be stuck with people exactly like him. We can't allow that. So, our officer was spared jail. What did he get instead? Instead, the officer was sentenced to a 14-week curfew, banning him from leaving his house between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. So, let, let me actually just let me just get this, let me get it straight. Let me spell this out for you. A police officer, a certified police officer, fully fledged, confirmed, assaulted a woman on her way home, playing out a woman's worst nightmare, a stranger. A random person attacking this woman on her night home. He attacked this woman drunkenly on her night home. Assaulted her, put her in a headlock, threw her to the ground. When she got away, he called her a fucking slag. And his punishment was a curfew during a lockdown. Listen, yo, I'm telling you, we've got a real big problem in this country with gangs, man. We've got a very, very bad problem with gangs. And we need to do something about this. This gang here is bad. They, they rep blue as well. She said that after the attack, she deals with ex ex extreme, severe anxiety and stress. Her family can't talk about the case. Her kids are still young. So when she got attacked, her kids asked her, have they caught the bad man? Have they caught the nasty man? That nasty man is the same people that are meant to protect, serve and protect. Oh no, shock, shock. Police officer abuses power again. Oh no, I've, I've only been seeing this for fucking two decades. Oh God. We've been seeing this. We've been seeing this. Been saying it, been experiencing it. The police are thugs, always have been. I don't care if people in the audience, people that subscribe to me disagree with that. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't had the experience that I've had and clearly this woman's had and you know what I'm saying? Like, and Pretty Patel wants to give him more power. More. You, you're already attacking people and getting away with it. How can you want more power? It's madness. Just to finish off, Emma says, I found myself compulsively running through the streets going through the events of the assault. What if I hadn't gotten away? What if he had attacked another woman drunk? It was compounded by the slow response from the police to the assault. It left me very fragile. The judge added the officer had abused his power and described the misogynistic abuse as an aggravating factor. But spares him jail, spares him community service. His punishment was a curfew and a 500 pound fine. And her court fees, which is 180 pound. Listen, young kids out there, if you, if you aspire to break the law and aspire to be untouchable, join the police force. <laughs> if, you, if you have burning desires to attack women when you're drunk and call them misogynistic stuff, join the police force. Once again, we failed as a, as a nation, failed at another turn to dish out justice and once again, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, do you know what I'm saying? This Western, this Western culture where there's too much capitalism, too much money, it doesn't work. You understand? Throw it in the bin, throw society in the bin, literally throw it, throw it, crunch it up and throw it away. We're done. It's done. Make your money and then relax, retire in the country that you want to retire to because we, we can't stay here. And that's everyone because it's just it's such a shit country. Madness. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts below. Peace.